Hey guys, it's Brittany and today I have a very quick show and tell for you guys. So the Zuri Sis brand, they reached out to me as well as a few of the other uh, YouTube vloggers to do some reviews for them. And they chose the wigs that we were going to review and then they just sent them to us. But the wig that I'm reviewing today is going to be the Sis Sister wig, the Dream Lace, the Dream Lace wig in the style Evan in color Sombre 99J and this is what the lady on the card looks like and it's in the color Sombre 99J this nice 99J color I think it's very very pretty color it's a straight style and it falls on me about about 18 inches probably 18 inches and that's where it falls in the front and I'm six feet tall this is the left side this is the right side here's all the hair to the back here's all the hair to the back um, this hair comes with I think it's two combs in the front and then a comb in the back and then adjustable straps this wig came with lace but underneath this area here is no like the lace doesn't show underneath so it's a skin top wig and one of the cons about this wig for me is the skin top the skin top was not a flesh tone it was like a grayish black color so this part of the space was not easy to blend at all so that's definitely a con for this wig um, but I did try to do my best and add powder and concealer in the part uh, when, with skin top sometimes Sometimes my powder doesn't work as well as it does with the with my other lace wigs. So I tried to put concealer in the part. I mean, it looks okay. It doesn't look too bad. The texture of this wig is silky. It's a it's not a yakky textured wig. The density is very I would I kind of think this wig is thin. Not so much at the ends. I feel like it's more of a natural kind of look, but in the back it is a little bit on the thin side. So this wig is definitely on the thin side, which is a con for me. I have gotten some shedding, but I did pull some hairs out of the parting space. Um, I haven't gotten any tangling yet, but this is really like the first time I'm really even uh, trying it on. Yeah, overall, I think this wig is okay, but I feel like the cons outweigh the positives with this wig. This The style is very, you know, everyday and natural looking. And then this color is a really nice subtle 99J color. The way the skin top is, I don't really care for that. Um, and I feel like it could be just like a little bit thicker. But I do kind of like the, the density a little bit. It's just that in the back, it just feels a little bit thin. So overall, I don't know if I would suggest getting this. I think it's kind of pretty, but um, not enough to recommend it to you guys. Uh, just being honest and it has like a slight layer on this side but it would probably need to be cut a little bit more I just want to thank Zuri for sending me this wig to review for you guys I know it's been a while since I've done you know consistent reviews but as you guys know I teach during the week so I can't really record during the week I have to do all of my recording on the weekends for the most part yeah so I thank you guys for sticking with me um, I'm now at 28,000 and getting closer to 30,000 so um, you know I'm excited about that and I thank you guys for sticking with me and I do apologize for not responding to um, comments as quickly as I used to but I'm going to try to get around to that. Um, I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.